world hello and welcome to high gps 318 the righteous bison and there we have the bison and a bison and another m bison and then we have the righteous bison which is a soldier weapon that uh is awful and it, it it stinks and it's bad and you should never use it however before we start i always forget this but i have some announcements uh, the next week and the following next weeks, uh, throughout July, there's going to be two high GPS episodes per week. There's going to be one every Wednesday and one every Sunday. We're going to blast through a lot of the less interesting melee weapons that we kind of have to get through before we then take GPS into high GPS into something different that isn't just unlock or review. Uh, more more on that later. So that means every time we'll uh, announce uh, a couple of weapons in time. So if you want to do one, you got to be faster. And if you don't, you can be a bit later. But it's going to be every Wednesday and every Sunday, which means deadlines are going to be pretty short in between. But everything will be announced in the Steam group through announcements to keep you um, there. Uh, yeah, keep you oriented, yes. So over to uh, the bison. One thing I didn't test is if it has vaccinator resistance, but... It's not that cutthroat, so I don't think it will matter much, because it is, it's actually not that good. Uh, the best part about the bison is that it looks cool. And I also think you can do this other thing. Let's see if we can just do... Uh, if we do third person, and then we do third person uh, Maya mode, I think. Yeah. So the coolest thing... To really show the... Yeah, the coolest thing about this weapon is that if you aim straight down... It looks like you're jerking off. <laughs> That's, that's probably the funniest thing about this weapon. It's like, oh shit, I gotta sit here and just do. <laughs> or you can be a bit more creative, you know, running the joke in the ground. You can be like, <laughs> good stuff. So we will look at this weapon today. I didn't record that much because I hate it and the weapon sucks, but we'll look at the pros and cons. That we have here. Ah, oh, look at the lightning reflection. All right, so uh, there's only uh, four pros that I could think of, and the rest are cons. And some pros and cons, it's very different depending on the severity of the pro. Like a pro can be, oh, it does more damage, but the con could be, you die. So maybe the con is a bit larger than the pro in that sense, and that's kind of like, like what the case we have here. So one pro is that it has infinite ammo, but it's also not hit scan. It penetrates people, but there's no splash. It reloads faster, but the projectile is slow. And you can't reflect it, but it does less damage to building, it does less damage less damage to players. It has slower firing speed. In fact, it's actually kind of astounding that it shoots like, the shotgun is able to fire six shots at, at the bison's four. And the bison still does less damage than it, even close range, so that's pretty sad. And then you also do less damage per target penetrated. I'm not entirely sure if that's true, that's what it said on the wiki. The wiki aren't always correct, but we'll just give you a quick demonstration here of the power of the bison. So, up close. 48, sometimes it does 60 or something, I don't know. It varies. It's, it's like unreliable too. Then you can see you can shoot. And we can kill people. Like so. And of course, the reload. So, the task for today was just to play with this weapon and uh, use it the best way you could. And I tried to use it, and I hate it, and I don't want to use it because the shotgun is better than everything. Like this. Weapon doesn't fulfill anything for the soldier's kit that he already can't do already. It's like We'll see that today, but it could like it can shoot through buildings and hurt the engineer that's behind the building However, the soldier has the direct hit uh, And beggars bazooka to some extent also the cow mangler to disable sentries and as for sentries You have the battalions backup which gives you more health and the buff makes you take less sentry damage. You can also do um the man treads where you don't have pushback and you can just literally walk upon it so the soldier already has a good kit for dealing with sentries and the bison is so bad at everything else that it really doesn't add up and it's also not that great at doing that kind of stuff so just for a comparison here 48 48 all right let's go a bit further back here we have 36 
36, all right, cool. And then we switch to the shotgun. And the shotgun up close is 90, 90. And when we go back here, 31, 26, depending on how big the hitboxes are of the people we shoot. So with that out of the way, let's go in to the demos that we have for today. We have a few to go through. And uh, first up is gonna be Burning Arrow. And he's actually gonna be showing us what I talked about with uh, getting engineers that's hiding behind sentries. So let me just uh, fix that guy. Tick, 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 tick. Yes, cool. So hope you guys are in for, for a treat of just awful, awful uh, soldier stuff. So I'm just loading the... Oh, wait, hold on. I did the wrong command. Yes, there we go, now it's loading. Perfect, perfect. And I can see this, I can see the chat. And everything is fine. This is gonna be on Swiftwater, a map that I don't play much, but people like to play on it sometimes, I guess. I like how Gus the Goose says, the righteous bison isn't good for what its intended purpose is, and that is being a gun. And I think that's pretty true. It doesn't feel like a gun. It doesn't act like a gun. And for some reason, it's not that uh, low. Oh, there we go. We're just fast forwarding through here. And we can see up here, we have sentry. And he actually hits the engineer through the sentry, somewhat behind the hitbox, and then he dies. And that was it. That was it. It, just, it was just a proof of concept that you can do that. Um, it will do less damage, but you will be able, like if the engine, let's say the engineers have like a nest where it's impossible for anyone to really get them and you don't really have the team composition and going medic yourself won't work, then maybe using this weapon and maybe getting a random crit can kill the engineer while he's behind the sentry. And that's like the only time this weapon is actually worth anything. So this will be like a proper introduction here. We had Karma's camera. I think he submitted the most uh, with this weapon. So we'll be looking at him and here he is on uh, Moss uh, Rock, I think. Yes, and he's gonna be using the Com Angler. Starts off with a nice little shot. Okay, so we're in Australia apparently. Because the Maya mode is on, so he used that. And uh, if he didn't use the uh, full charge, he would have had an additional shot on the rocket launcher. And then he misses, and then he shoots and kills this guy and kills that guy. However, if he would have stuck with the Calm Angler and not switched to the Righteous Bison, the results would have been exactly the same, uh, perhaps even better. If there was an invisible spy, he would have hit those as well. So here he spends 10 minutes just running around this hallway and shooting people with rockets and lasers and not ever dying because the other team was terrible at attacking together. They came in one at a time and they died one at a time. They died as they lived alone. So, next up is Adam W2S, and the title of this demo is uh, Bison is a perfect medic dropping weapon in all caps. So he's playing the American soldier now uh, in America, as you can see we're not in Australia anymore. You can see this, uh, the eagle and everything, and he's just shooting through here. Doing some damage. Oh, hit, hit somebody. Okay, so do the reload. Shoot some more. All right, so go back here, reload, and shoot. Oh, got, got a couple hits. There's a medic. Oh, a spy! Well, luckily someone else took care of that because this weapon isn't reliable because it's not hit scan. Because keep in mind, if you use the shotgun and you point at somebody and you shoot, there he goes, gets the kill on a medic. That was a random crit. Kill. If you use the shotgun and you aim at somebody and you shoot, you will do damage. Uh, if you miss, you miss, but if you hit, uh, you hit. With the Righteous Bison, uh, not so much. And then we have, he just decides to go with the rocket launcher. Of course, it also does less damage to buildings. So if you're going for like cow mangler, uh, righteous bison, uh, engineers are going to be a pain in the ass. And then he dies to a whip in the ass by this other soldier. So this can happen. It's like, oh man, this weapon is great when it random crits. And it, yes, but so are pretty much every other single weapon in the game that can random crit. They're also great when they when they do that. So, here we have none other than Esteban Failsmore playing here on Fast Lane, a map that's great for snipers, and not very good for anyone else. So he goes on the side there, he sees this heavy, and then he does the good thing that he's using his primary weapon, kills him, 
Didn't even have to spend the next rocket. He runs up and shoots this guy, switches this and realizes, oh shit, this ain't a shotgun out with the pan. But then luckily his pyro friend did that, and then as he jumped, he got shot by a shotgun, which is why it's the name of it. It's a gun that shoots you. Then he runs back, reloads, and he's ready for more. There's a heavy up on the high ground there, and he does some predictive shots, and you can see that this gun sucks at this kind of range. So there we go, and then he reloads. Because there's no splash damage, it's okay. So not the perfect rocket jumps, you know, eventually we'll get there. Maybe we'll do an episode on it. So then he jumps up here. Yes, we're up on the high ground now. Excellent. We have overheals and we can go. Oh, well, look at this. A medic and a heavy with the resistances. Ha, think not. Let's just, oh, shit. Eat a bit of a pipe there and let's see. He just goes back and sees the heavy. Oh, gets the kill. And there's a health pack. He grabs it. And then he thought someone was around the corner. And there was a demo. He kills him. And there's back, grabs the health kit. Sees that someone's behind. Maybe a spy. Well, probably. Where'd he go? Uh, it's a scout. Retreat. And there we go. And then we have, oh, that medic's obviously a spy. Let's go get him. Let's get him with the bicep. And that's what we call a spy sandwich. So the other clueless spy got saved by the spy that was tailing Esteban, and then you just got killed. So that's actually a good spy strategy. We tried to cover this in the double spy episode we did ages back. It's really hard to do, but if you're two spies and you're able to get on each side of the guy, he's fucked. Uh, but he would be if any other class did that as well, but it's just it's just funny. All right, so this is Esteban Felsmore once more. He's going for the cow mangler bison stuff, so if the enemy team has any kind of buildings, he won't be able to do much with them. However, keep in mind that if you do the right click with the cow mangler, you do the damage of 1.3 rockets, not four. But it will be doing that. And then he gets a random crit and he kills him and he's like, yeah, do a little, do a little bit of this. Of course, team is pushing on the point. There they are. And you have a stalemate where nobody wins. But he was a top fragger, so he did something, but we did get this kill. So you might be wondering, GPS, you've shown us five demos now where uh, nothing has really made a huge impact when using the bison and we see that the players who are equipping the bison aren't really using it all that much. And that's because it's terrible and you can't do much with it. And that's the reason why and that's what we see today. So here we have burning arrow and of course any weapon is good with crits, but this weapon is especially funny. So here could be a good angle, you know, for penetration and stuff when people are in hallways and things, except it does jack shit worth of damage. You could have fired a single rocket and you would have hit more and done more damage. So there you go. It's not really fair to compare this to the rocket launcher. However, it is a projectile and it is for the soldier and it doesn't have splash. If you look at the demo man, he has a primary and a secondary that are both projectiles and do explosive stuff and are splash. I do think maybe the bison would benefit better from that. But there we go, if people are stupid and run in a straight line, they would have died to anything, including the Righteous Bison, at this point in time. So, jumping around. Now, oh, we have the Chris Craig. We have Chris Craig. So let's reload this. It is a very cool looking gun, uh, which is what I think Valve uh, said to me uh, when they, um, uh, when I was visiting them back in May uh, last year. You can see, two kills with this weapon. And then he's like, oh yeah, <laughs> rocket launcher is like infinitely better because you can just aim at people's feet and then they die. So before, like this weapon has been, it was, it's never been good, but it was a lot better than it was before where if people ran backwards, they would get hit multiple times with the same projectile and the penetration was a lot better. And there he somehow hit for 74, despite us testing it close range for 48 or something. I don't know, it's like, might be reading the damage values wrong or something like that. And then of course you get sniped and you're not really accomplishing much by using this weapon. So, uh, no high GPS episode is complete without some guy doing sh things on Two Fort. So let's head to Two Fort, the favorite map of some popular YouTubers that for some reason only plays maps that are shit. So, um, he is just patrolling here. He's gonna ca try and catch up to the scout here. He spends the time reloading his rocket launcher. There is the scout, found him, used the culprit. Bison, eyes oh, dead. Well, we shot a couple of victory shots because we can do that because we have infinite ammo. And there we go. Now we get the crits and he's ready with the bison. Ready to use the crits in case someone comes by and they don't. 
Alright, so of course this is Team Fortress 2, so the reason you're playing 240 is obviously not to cap, it's to shoot this scout with this righteous bison, of course, and you have qualified for the episode by getting a single kill, and now this is the part where there's there's here's the guy. And there's the bridge. And on the keyboard, there's this W key that you use to go forward. And I say this all the time. If you've ever been in the pub with me and I'm angry because the team's bad, because you're hanging around in chokes, that's because you're not moving forward. Going forward is essential, especially as a soldier, because you do more damage when you're closer and you can kill more stuff. So let's place your bets. Is this guy going to make it to the end of the bridge by holding the W key? Or will he do something else? Let's find out. So he runs forward and he sees a pyro that has his back turned. And of course, a pyro that doesn't know you're there is very scary. So we better back the fuck out. And then reload and then go into the sniper sight line. And then the second time we will go past, but then the sniper of course has seen us and he shoots us in the face and we're almost dead as shit. But luckily, we're going into the enemy base using this weapon, but now we are not gonna do that. We're gonna retreat down to the safe confines of the pool. So that was, um... I think it is so much better to die while attacking and being aggressive rather than being picked off because you kind of half-assed the attack and then you try to retreat, thus prolonging your death. It's better to die in a quick attack than to try and survive for 20 seconds, accomplishing nothing, and then dying. Especially a soldier, very important. This gun is not good, so let's see if pyrovision goggles can help us. We have our balloonicorn friend with us, we're back in Australia, and here we go. This is Burning Arrow, and he's gonna show us a sweet little double kill that he actually wouldn't have gotten otherwise, unless he was using this. It is possible to get double kill with shotgun, but uh, the people you should have to be very low on health and very close together. So there we go, and he sees that there's some guys up there, and... Oh, someone's going for the health pack, shoot! Oh, well, there's a sentry there too, can't do much about that, but shoot the sniper! Ah, oh, he dies when he got the heavy too, the double kill! And then he kind of just goes through the rest of the map without really accomplishing much of interest for the bison. But we saw that it, like in that situation, the rocket launcher would have been better. <laughs> like, even when it's good, it's bad. Because compared to, because you have to compare it to the stock. The stock is the shotgun. And like I said before, shotgun, it's fast. It shoots fast and hit what's, what, what you're supposed to hit. If you have to wait for the projectile, you might as well just reload the rocket launcher and use a backpack. So here we have a uh, burning arrow once more, and he's using it like a primary for the most part. Um, so uh, that's something you, you shouldn't really do when you submit stuff. You, sh you shouldn't really, f unless like the goal is to like use the righteous bison and the bison only. Uh, here it's like you should use the bison whenever you feel like, oh, now would be a great time to use the bison. So you're probably using the main weapon first. So here he could do a rocket jump and jump on the sniper, but he decides not to. He's like, I gotta shoot you with the lasers, and boom, I killed you. And now I got four rockets left, and I'm gonna shoot you with some lasers, get some random crit, and kill you, and kill you with rocket launcher. But we're still using the bison. And then we're gonna use the rocket launcher on that there sentry. Take that out. Easy operation. Quite nice. And then use the bison and hit him for 68 for some reason. I haven't done all the testing because it's not really that interesting to me, but some people said like you get different damage values depending on the angle of how the projectile hits, which seems ludicrous to me that that's the case, but it wouldn't surprise me. And then he gets a jump by a soldier and he dies because he was using that. However, oh, uh, a pro that I forgot to, uh, to, to write down. There's no self damage on this thing, but there's also no self damage on the shotgun. So that's why I left it out. Cool, so that was Burning Arrow. Let's look at Enigmas, who is actually using it as a secondary. And Enigmas is quite good. It's also using the direct hit for some reason. So this is Process, he's jumping out. Here he is his loadout. We're back in the, the Mercas, maybe, or Europe. Grabs this health pack, and then he decides like, well, you know, the, blue, the other team isn't here, so I'm just gonna go and occupy this space. And then he meets a Pyro, and he shoots him for two 128, and then he runs out of rockets, and then he, or he doesn't. But he did switch to try and get a shot off. Couldn't really do it. 
Can't get a shot off that guy either, and then he switches, reloads this, and now we're ready to attack. Now the point is open, his team is captured, and he's gonna go, and he's gonna show you something pretty sweet. So he jumps up and kills this guy and shoots the medic. Ah, oh, the medic wasn't predictable, so you weren't able to get the shot, but killed the medic anyway with the rocket launcher, which would be uh, the story for most of you guys submitting. So he shoots up, and here he could just shoot the pyro, but he decides to get a bison ear shot, which is something you can do. So instead of doing the mini crit damage of the direct hit, which would be like 100 something, he decided to do 60. Because, why well, go for a lot when you can go for the little? And then he goes back, reloads the rocket launcher first, and then he doesn't even bother with the bison. Oh, another pro with the bison. You can see how much ammo it has uh, when you're not wearing it, so that's cool, I guess. And then his team just attacks them at any point in time, and they win. So that was actually one of the few times where they actually used the weapon like a secondary, just for finishing off targets. And as you can see, even a player talented as Enigmas couldn't really finish off players close range because the projectile is small and it's slow. Um, yes, so here we have um, Kust, and uh, here he is just uh, hanging around and spawn for a little bit. And then he shoots this soldier that dies and he's like, wow, did he really just kill the soldier when a quick fix medics was healing him with a bison alone? It's like, no, because there was a soldier around this corner the entire time that did the majority of the damage. He just happened to shoot the last shot. So there you go. So he, this is Thunder Mountain, my favorite map of all time. He jumps up here. And this is actually a good angle because you can shoot through your teammates and hit enemies like spies and stuff. And isn't that great? And yes, and so can the shotgun. It's just the projectiles of the rocket launcher that can't. So uh, anything bison does, shotgun does better. Shotgun does everything better than the bison. And then he dies to a scout. That went pretty fast. Blink it and you'll miss it. So next up, this is gonna be Mile, uh, M-Y-L-E, and he's gonna be uh, playing properly and we're gonna see that he uses a strategy. I'm not sure if this was intentional, but sometimes buying time for your team is essential. So here we are on Metalworks, I think this one is called. Starts off by getting killed on a weakened pyro and he's also using the black box. A good choice for having increased sustain when you have such a shit area secondary. And if it acts like a spy and moves like a spy, it's your teammate scouts that don't know how to play scout. You are the fastest class in the game, and we sit and camp in a corner with the pistol while we wore the hat that we got from a map. So there's the heavy, he's just finished eating up, and then he finishes off the heavy with that. I'm not sure if he would have been able to kill the heavy if he would have had to reload and get the bison. You may never know, so then he gets a crit and misses completely, stands and backs out there. I have a lot of teammates and oh, what's this someone just went by oh the enemy team is attacking so then he switches to the bison and got the got the kill however it was two two other blue guys there that would have killed the medic literally a second later so so there you go Runs forward kills this medic you can see the rocket launcher is great will he get the spy so he jumps back, careful with the escape plan. You do get that deer. Um, the damage increase when that happens. This is a spy, launches him away. This is the kind of gameplay I was hoping. I was in the hope uh, to see like just normal soldier play and you just happen to have the bison and you use it whenever applicable. So he's a mile here, just doing some damage. He knows that pyros are coming. He launches him forward, pyros are dead. And then they capture, jumps forward, pressures the medic. Here we go, he's just going forward. They have Kritzkrieg, and he's gonna be using Kritzkrieg with the black box and not the bison. Uh, so the medic is still alive, will very hurt when you use. You can see on the top there, he goes forward. And right now he's doing what I mentioned of buying time for his team because his team is actually capping. He could cap, or he could just help stall whoever's gonna come through here, like this pyro and heavy and stuff, like just by scaring them for some reason. And then he gets a random crit and kills. It was a medic or something. It's another random crit, and the gods have favored you today. Be sure to pray at the altar for random crits. Oh, barely surviving there using the jump tactic, which is a great way to escape heavy bullets. Yeah, it's great stuff, and then, of course, he could be capping, but he's opting to just stay here and 
try and stop them from uh, stopping the capture, which he seems to be quite adept at. He's meeting another soldier. And then he has to retreat back here, and he's just buying so much time, and he dies, but luckily for him, he, his team got the capture. Would they have captured if he was on the point? Maybe. Maybe not. At least he was successful in what he did, and he got a star from B. Kind of stars that appears out of your mouth when you swear. All right, so here he is once more. He is ready. This one is titled uh, "Finishing Up the Med." As you can see, this is probably the next life or some lives after. You can see there's an Uber coming up here. Pyro is doing some work. Just looking around, and uh, nice headshot there for the sniper. Kills that heavy. Standing on the high ground, shooting down as a soldier. Pretty basic. Might be a spy, who knows? Sometimes spies like to reload guns and initiate the uh, animation. Then he gets an Uber and he's like, okay, gotta go faster in. This pyro doesn't ear blast properly, so we just kill him. Yep, there we go. Spent a lot of time. Oh, that was a spy. Uh, we know that, absolutely. We go forward, always looking for the medic. He's hungry, he wants that med kill. So first he shoots a rocket, and then he's out with this one. He shoots, and he hits, and he shoots again. And he hits, and he shoots a third time, and he hits. So the good part for this is that he spent longer time killing the medic, effectively making the dead medic be dead for longer. Is what someone who's completely biased and really wants the bison to be good would have said. So yes, while that is true, in this one case, we've seen plenty of other cases where they just get away, and they wouldn't have gotten away um, if you've used a shotgun, for instance, or a reserve shooter, or a panic attack, or something like that. So the bison is like, yes, you can you can stagnate, but you can also miss it, it can bite you in the ass. All right, moving up now, this is Cuckoo Quasi, and he is playing here on that dear Borneo, soldier defense. Gonna be running out here with the rest of his team, gonna be stopping that payload from moving forward. So he starts off by removing almost all of his health. So that's okay, because we have a medic with crits creek. Ah, oh, bison crits is the best crits. So there we go, and you can see that the rocket launcher is very good at everything. And there we go, ah, oh, the crits! Oh, we missed, ah, oh, but the crits, the second shot! We, we missed at this distance, folk. The, the projectile is that slow, but the third shot will do 102 damage, and then we will miss the fourth one. <laughs> so, I, I actually want to go go back here uh, a little bit. So we can just look at this once more. I like I did slow it down, but let's just look at it in slow motion and just see like the distance of where he is standing compared to the guys he's shooting and just how he misses. So I'm gonna actually gonna pause it and freeze it right as he shoots. So here comes the demo man, here comes the crits. So he misses the first one. And he hits the third one. He actually aims at the sniper, but the sniper literally just went. And then you missed. Because the projectile is small and slow. What I would like to see is a big fucking projectile that is slow, or a s even smaller projectile that is faster. One fix that I thought of is like you could make this do both things. You can have it be a hit scan and shoot a projectile, which kind of makes it like the double dunk. So you would fire like a laser that is hit scan and then like the laser beam would come after. So that would mean you could do like basic tiny chip damage. However, if you were able to connect with the hit scan and the laser beam, like you would shoot both at the same time, you could combo that shit together and you could do more damage than uh, a shotgun. However, if you miss, you will do a lot less than shotgun. It's something you can do. So coming up next, this is Quasi, the same guy and in this situation, he would have been better off using any other unlock than the bison, which is pretty true for pretty much all cases except the one with the sentry and stagnating the medic, uh, which is something you don't necessarily want to do. So he hasn't really used the bison to much success and he uh, hits some shots there, that's pretty good. There we go, shoots and misses. There's a mini sentry there, take care of that, gonna run back to the payload. There we go, jump over here, reloading this, and we're back in action, jumping back out. Pyros are dying, but not to him. 38 damage worth of rocket damage, not much, but he's occupying space. There's an 80 sentry over there, you gotta take, uh, spend a couple of rockets on that. Medic is healing, so he has a lot of sustain. This is a sniper, jumps up here. The sniper is really out of position. And he's like, oh shit, medic! Get help, and the medic shoots a crossbow heals, and he's like, not full health, fine, I'll go take care of the sniper, die! 
kills this other guy as well. Some more guys are dying. There's a sentry there, and this gun does hardly any damage to that. He's super weak. He decides to take care of the sentry first, then retreat to the medic, get some health. And there's the sniper, and there's a dispenser in the corner, take care of that, and then miss. When he's standing still right in front of you, and he's basically locked into a spot where he can't move, that is when the bison is good. So there we go, running forward. Hitting guys. Good air shots. You can't hit the air shots, just shoot them when they land, and then he dies. So he did okay. I mean, he could have used pretty much any other secondary, and he would have pretty much had the same results. Um, so there we go. Moving on, we're going to look at uh, Karma's camera, and this is a uh, proper place. Like, sometimes you would think, like, what areas are good for using this? Like, if you think about the Huntsman for the Sniper, corridors, long hallways, where there's restricted uh, horizontal movement, then that would be the case. So here he is on Lazarus, I think. I always forget the new names of the maps. So here he is. He's usually been on this map for... A lot of the times he's submitted, but like inside these hallways, like straight ahead here, this one is actually pretty good with the bison. He's also using the cow mangler, which is can also do splash. It doesn't penetrate, but it can hit multiple people. The similar way that uh, the the bison can. So then he decides to fire one and a third rocket. He spent all of his fourth rockets on doing so just by lighting him on fire. Just holding back here for a little bit. Around. Oh, there's a pyro. I'll kill him. Yes, there we go. So I'll stick the kill. Fucking asshole. Alright, so then we go to the high ground, and this is actually a pretty good spot to be in as a cow mangler soldier with the bison, because you have infinite ammo of both kinds. And you can just stay here for as long as you like. So here we go. He kills the spine. He has a heavy friend in front of him. And right here, this is an optimal spot for using the bison. And any other splash projectile based uh, weapon. Like a demo man would also be great here. So here he just shoots and he does a whopping 34 damage on that heavy. But he did kill an engineer that was almost dead. So if he would have fired the rocket first and not even bothered with the bison, he would have killed a lot more people. But this guy is merciful. Merciful like the gods who nerfed bison. And as you can see, once he just sticks to the sh to the rocket launcher and don't fucking bother with the bison, he gets a lot more kills, as you can clearly see here. Of course, keep in mind that the bison is a secondary, but it's also a secondary that is awful. Uh, it's even bad at people that are bad. Because I said anything that is, like everything is good against bad players, well, the bison is bad against bad players, and it's uh, especially bad against good players, that's why you see none of them use it. But he still just hangs out in this high ground area, occupying this choke. He can stay here, he doesn't need to go down for, uh, for additional ammo, just health every once in a while. Which means you can spam. Oh boy, you can spam. You can fill up the entire spam aisle yourself in the supermarket with all this spam you can do here. So he's pretty weak, he runs out, survives, many kills him. And then he's going uh, around again, and now we have crit screen! but we don't have anything to be boosted. So we're basically like a saboteur for the medic at this point. And he decides to fire a rocket over there because it's cool, it makes you feel powerful. And then he wins. Cool. Uh, what's that, the last one? No, we have one more. One more and then we're done and we didn't, uh, I actually didn't have any submissions this week because I hate this weapon, and I, it, I, I couldn't see a single scenario where I would ever use this in front of anything else, and that's why I, I didn't do it, so you guys had to suffer. So this is Derpy. He kills, starts off by killing the spy here, and you can see even when it's right in front of it's hard, so use the melee weapon. Ah, the whip! Better and more reliable DPS than the bison ever could provide! And then, of course, you gotta have reload management <laughs> missing at people point blank. That's fine. There we go. Uh, reloading. And uh, we hit somebody, but we would have been better with the cow mangler. And once again, the whip comes through when the bison fails. Almost a second time. All right. So here on Snowy Coast, but acts like a spy and moves like a spy. He's a friendly pyro that just takes all the game. There we go, just doing some more shoots. Killing dudes. 
this, this device and hitting for 33, spending a lot of time and effort accomplishing nothing. I think you did about the small health pack worth of damage on that medic. As you can see here, you hit more people and you do more damage. So why, why? Why not just use the cow mangler constantly? I think he realizes that. We all realize that. So that sums up the bison episode. It's bad. And it would either need it would need a complete rework for ever to be viable to the other weapons. And we got to think about what should it be viable as because compared to the shotgun and backpacks and shoes like gunboats like they just give you so much mobility man treads is great for pushing chokes. We also got the backpacks which are all great in their own way like you have, you know, sustain uh, damage absorption, damage dealing, you got like all the different shotguns which are great as well and then you have this and then you have this, right? Like the, the shitty of the family. So with that I will be announcing the next two topics. So the first one will be for Wednesday and the second one will be on Sunday. So you can pick which one that is and I will include that in the announcement. And then uh, we will, I'll, I'll keep you posted as long as you pay attention. So we have uh, currently covered the bison. Um, so let's do something that is not a soldier. So let's do an engineer episode, yes. So uh, we will do an episode on the rescue ranger for the engineer. So you just have to use the rescue ranger as an engineer and whatever other unlike you so desire. However, you should use all of the rescue rangers properties in your demo, such as repairing from a distance and picking up the gun when it's about to go down. That, sh that is the main focus on that episode. So that will be on Wednesday. And uh, the next one is going to be a scout episode and we're going to look at um, the Criticola, I think, yes. Um, so we'll go through that and analyze that. That will be on Sunday. So Rescue Ranger Wednesday, Criticola Sunday. Cool, right. So if you're new here and uh, want to see more stuff, check out the other videos, obviously, dumbass. And then um, Discord for mindless chatter and Steam group for announcements. I think it's easier to follow announcements in the Steam group than it is Discord, but that's just me. So thank you guys for watching, and especially thanks to everybody who submitted and had to go through the torture uh, of using this Garbo weapon. And also there's a raffle link in the description below if you're watching this on YouTube. If you're watching this on the stream, it will be available quite soon. Uh, yes.